Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. In this lecture series, I am going to show you how to use control variable in Smart PLS 4. First of all, we need to know what is control variable. So, if I show you what is control variable or the definition of control variable, variables that are held constant or accounted for to isolate the effect of independent variables on dependent variable, right? So, this is the control variable. Now, once again, what types of variable has some effect uh, on the, uh, I mean, dependent variable on the independent variable is called the control variable, right? So, in the next session, what is the purpose of using the control variable? The purpose of using the control variable is reduce the bias. On the other hand, you can say, uh, improve the accuracy of the model. In smart PLS or structural equation, equation modeling, um, we need to enhance the model accuracy, right? So, using the control variable, we can improve or enhance the accuracy of the uh, PLS ACM model. On the other hand, ensure that the results are not confounded by external factor, right? Uh, though practically it's quite difficult to say the results are not confounded by the external factor, but uh, we try to enhance the accuracy using the control variable in PLS SEM model, right? So next, what types of uh, control variable usually do we have? So mainly or basically or usually there are three types of control variable. Number one is the demographic variables, right? Demographic variables. So, another is the contextual, very contextual variable, and the other one is the behavioral variable, and there are some others uh, types of control variables. So, the demographic variables we can say the age, gender, education level, right? So, these all are the demographic variables which can control the independent uh, or which can control the model actually. Maybe age, gender and education has the effect on dependent variable. On the other hand, <coughs> contextual uh, variable is industry type, size and uh, experience. Experience, it means if you would like to conduct the survey uh, with the person of the industry, then that person's I mean, the respondent's experience is also act as a control variable. On the other hand, past behavior, habit, and preference, it also may act as a control variable. So, there are two types of control variable, right? One is categorical variable, another is continuous variable. So, in categorical variable, for example, uh, gender is related to, I mean, male, female. So, it could be 0, 1, binary. Uh, variable right on the other hand uh, is income is a continuous variable right so categorical variable should be coded as dummy variable right please keep in mind uh, if you use the categorical variable for example sender uh, so you can create or code it as a dummy variable like zero and one right on the other hand, for control variable should be kept as a numerical value. It's normal. Okay. So next, why include clone control variables in the model? Right. So we have already said it that enhance the model validity, improve predictive accuracy, and meet research standard. In the previous slide, already said this, right? So right now it's go to the it's time for practical example. So, for so that I'm just minimizing it and going to this smart PLS for software. So, I have created a project a control variable, right? For say, for example, I have already created one project, this one. So, here you will find, for example, PU perceived usefulness, right? And PEU, it could be the perceived easy to use so these two are independent variable on the other hand the mediating or one dependent variable is intention to use and final dependent variable is actual use right so i have already created this model and just 
run this model okay uh, just run this model here we can see the model accuracy i mean the model fit is quite good 0.09 percent right it's good good one okay and the r square value is uh 30 percent okay on the other hand 30.2 percent okay uh, on the other hand if i would like to investigate the significant level so just go to the previous and bootstrapping okay uh, using the bootstrapping here we can see uh, it's the p value right i am just creating the t value it's uh, significant it's also significant but this one is not significant right and r square value is same right because it's not all about we didn't add the control variable so here we can see the path if we go to the path variance the two relationships or hypothesis are significant but one hypothesis is insignificant one second right now it's time to add just keep in mind the uh, model accuracy uh, sorry model fit from here right on the other hand this is the r square value uh, 30.2 percent so right now just creating the control variable so this is the one is the control variable is ace okay and ace it's gender i think so it's gender okay uh, please see here okay please see here gender is a binary that is why we made it the dummy dummy code uh, dummy variable put it as a dummy variable right on the other hand is it was continuous variable and it's the numeric value on the other hand experience okay uh, experience i'm just taking it and to make it a control variable it's more nothing it's not difficult just link this relationship okay just to ring this relationship okay just uh we can save here au is in here gender experience okay i'm just making it in here right save it and run the tls algorithm one against start uh it's only changes it 30.7 so previously it was 30.2 i mean um 302 and 305 it's not a big difference actually right so uh we can uh, we can see the model fit right now so model fit is quite good so think about in here uh enhance the model validity right on the other hand we can see here the improve the accuracy of the model so previously the model accuracy was 0 0.09 right srms value right now it's 0 0.07 it means after adding the control variable the model's accuracy is quite good right okay on the other hand uh, what we need to test actually so simply we are seeing that there is no significant difference after adding the control variable right only uh, 0 0.05 okay it's not a big difference so go to the bootstrapping we need to investigate the significance okay here you can see it's insignificant it's also insignificant it's also it means the three of the the all the control variables are not significant it's like put the path coefficient see here this relationships is experience and gender with the uh, dependent variable i mean actual use uh, all the variables are ignis insignificant right okay so what how uh, we can conclude right so there is no significant difference if we add the control variable uh, in this model right just models accuracy is just quietly increasing right but uh, the control variable or control variables don't have any significant impact on the dependent variable or the overall model right okay so actually when you will add the control variable what you will investigate right so go to the 
PowerPoint presentation and please see here. So honestly speaking, we need to investigate the path coefficient first of all, right? Uh, path coefficient. So we investigate the path coefficient. That's all are insignificant. Uh, we also checked the changes of R square. So changes of R square is very very um, simple, right? So we can say there is no significant difference if we add control variable or not, right? On the other hand, the significance testing we have are insignificant. So finally, we need to test the effect side. Okay, uh, once again, go to the model here, and if we go here, uh, effect size. Oh, uh, 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 sorry, I need to go to go back to the TLS algorithm. Okay, so effect size is in here. Uh, F square, right? So please see here is experience and standard. This is very, very low effect. Okay, it's very low effect. It's because of all the values uh, is less than uh, see here it's zero zero zero, right? Zero zero zero, it's a zero zero zero, but here it's greater than zero. Uh, sorry, uh, zero point zero two is less than zero point zero two. So these variables does don't have the medium effect or large effect on the dependent variable right so once again go to the model uh, we can you can see here so when you taste the control variable you need to keep in mind you need to taste these four things path coefficient changes of r square effect size and significant testing right so in our uh model impact there is no significant impact of control variable or there is no significant effect of control variable on our or to our dependent variable right so in this way we can investigate the control variable using the smart pls4 okay so after the next video okay allah bye bye